problem 2.5 from chapter number two. In this particular case, we are given some information and we have to do some basic calculations. The calculations are based on the earnings per share and we want to find out what effect that has on the price earnings ratio. We can see that in 20 double X, that the earnings per share are $1.85. And dividing the $1.85 into the current PE ratio, or sorry, the current price, leaves us a PE ratio of 17.03. What that means is for every dollar of earnings per share, a person is willing to pay $17.03. That person being the investor, the shareholder. In 20XY, we can see that the earnings have gone up. We would expect the share price to go up. That is correct. The share price did go up to $42. And it's affected by two things, the fact that their earnings went up, but also, as you can see, the PE ratio went up. So when you divide the $42 of price, the current market price, by the earnings per share of $2.18, you can see that in 20XX, it was $17.03 for every dollar of earnings, and it's gone up to 19.27. So for every dollar of earnings per share, you now have to pay $19.27. So in some ways, it's become more expensive. In 20XX, you the earnings per share would cause the share price to be $17.03. In 20XY, one dollar of earnings per share would be nineteen dollars and twenty-seven cents, and that could be very much affected by the risk. In this case, the level of risk has decreased because PE ratios are opposites to risk. The higher the risk, the lower the PE ratio. The lower the risk, the higher the PE ratio. So you can look at a company's PE ratio and determine if they're a risky company or if they're not. Now. You can see the calculations were done. The stock price increased by 33%, while earning per, earnings per share only increased by $17, sorry, 17.84%. What that means is the rest is due to the change in the PE ratio. And the PE ratio, as I mentioned, is very much affected by the level of risk. So my analysis of this is the level of risk if the company went down, which means that the PE ratio went up. So it becomes more expensive to buy a dollar of earnings. So that's the conclusion of the problem. We will discuss this further in our live lectures.